To activate noise, we'll need to open up the surface pull-down in the tool palette. You'll notice that we have a few noise options here. The first one being to turn noise on, so I'll simply click noise. At this point, you can see noise has been applied to our object. Now, it doesn't matter at this point if your object is 200 polygons or 10 million polygons. Noise is resolution independent when we're using this surface pull-down in the tool palette. In fact, there's a great benefit to this that you can work with a very low polygon model and apply great detail by applying noise. Only when we decide to apply this noise to the actual geometry does our poly count come into play. Next to noise is noise scale. By moving this slider to the right, we'll increase our noise scale. Underneath noise scale, we have noise strength. This slider will work in both a positive and negative value. Underneath noise strength, we can click on the noise curve to open up that curve, and we can click and add points on the curve to adjust our noise. We can create very interesting and unique noise patterns using the curve. What's very powerful about using noise here in the surface palette is that you have the ability to sculpt and work on your model, and at any point you can turn off noise, turn on noise, continue sculpting, or even adjust the type of noise that you're working with on the surface. Basically you have an endless variety of material types, whether it be rock or stucco or clay, that you can sculpt with and change at any point during the sculpting process. Underneath the noise curve you notice that we have two color pickers. Color 0, which is by default set to black, and color 1, which is by default set to white. Our slider is all the way to the right right now, which is set to the color 1. I'll just choose another color at this point, something like green. As I adjust the noise, you'll see that certain sections of the noise have that green applied to it. Once you've adjusted the noise the way that you want, you can continue sculpting at this stage, or you can apply the noise directly to the surface of your model. To do this, we'll click Apply to Mesh. In this case, if I want the color to take effect as well, I'm going to make sure that I open up my Poly Paint tab and click Colorize. This model that I'm working with is currently at 3.6 million, which is more than enough to support this style of noise. Depending on the style of noise, you may need more polygons in your model. At this point, I'll click Apply to Mesh. And now you can see that that noise has been projected into the surface, as well as the color information that we worked with on the noise. At this point, you can continue sculpting your model with all the tools available to you in ZBrush, or you can even add more noise. Again, as I click the Noise button here in the surface pull-down, this noise can be turned off or on and adjusted. So you can actually add many, many different layers of noise. So I'll click Reset to reset my curve change my noise scale and strength and maybe adjust the curve again. Again I can adjust the color. This time I'll choose something like red. And then once again I'll click Apply to Mesh. I've now applied two totally different types of noise to the mesh. You can repeat this process as many times as you want. 